I came from a, uh, a country with a long history, and I would not take uh, this problem. So, Mr. Pei, you mentioned your father. Old architecture surrounding, he said, you cannot touch it. But without light, there's no architecture. So the pyramid, which he put in the courtyard, in fact, is just a skylight. Expression of the architecture comes from the inside. It comes, in this case, from the need to bring in light to all the underground space. In a historic interview, your father was interviewed by Diane Sawyer on 60 Minutes. He said this. Our society seemed to be inclined to build something for a short time and then tear them down. I think this self-disposable society of ours is not conducive to doing good architecture. Do you see the same problem now? This is absolutely still true today. So if you build, you should build something that can serve its purpose for at least a reasonable amount of time. The Pei architects often produced very extraordinary shapes, prisms, uh, parallelograms, uh, triangle, semicircle, and cone. Geometry is really at the base of all good architecture. When you have a rigorous geometrical organization, it makes the planning very easy. Now how do you reconcile the artistic part of being an architect and the scientific part? Architecture actually is um, problem solving. In science, you are trying to come up with a new answer to an old problem. And so the more constraints that you have, actually the easier it is to find a solution. The key to any good architecture is communication. The concept is really the first step. Decision making is probably more about eliminating things than it is about selecting which way to go.